In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Dear Kenyans and men and women of faith in the whole world, I'm sure you are well. To some, it is good morning. To others, it is good night. To others, it is afternoon. To others, it is evening. Whatever time it is, Father CK is saying hi. I am continuing with my, my reflection on what makes a Catholic woman shine. What can make a Catholic woman shine? And we have we have demythologized the uniform of the Catholic woman because it does not make you a Catholic. As a priest, we have got the vestments that we adorn during Mass. We've got the alb, the stole, and the chasuble. The vestments cannot make one a priest. Even if we wear the golden, those that are so expensive, they are there out there. They don't make one a, uh, they don't make one a priest. They don't even, even make one a, a Catholic. No. Because anybody, even a madman, a madman can wear an alb. A madman can wear a chasuble. A madman will not become a priest by wearing them. So he cannot be so proud that I have a nice chasuble, so I am a nice priest. No. There is difference between eh, the, the, the beauty of the vestments and the man wearing the vestments. We, cannot, we must put a distinction. Otherwise we keep on hiding under those things. We can't, Allah. There come a time when we sit and tell each other the truth. So, I know we have uniforms in our faith. This is not even for Catholics. The uniform you have does not make you a better Christian. It only makes you a Christian who is decorated in a certain version. Because the uniform is for purposes of identity. And it is so good. The problem is when we mistake the uniform with what is the gist of the matter. We don't stop at the uniform. We go deeper. Because we will ask the quality of faith of that man who has that, um, that CMA tie. The quality of faith of that lady who is having her beautiful headscarf. We will ask that question. Because again, that uniform can be given to a pagan or an atheist. It will not make them Catholics. So if you look at it from that perspective, then you will be a bit more serious to go beyond the uniform. And this is what are now constitutes number 10. A woman who has known her purpose. A woman who has known her purpose, there are a few things that she does not do. Number one, a woman who has known her purpose, she does not compete with anybody. Because she has realized that actually she can only be her own enemy. So if you're in the Catholic faith and you're still competing, because one of the things that is killing our Catholic Women Association is the spirit of unhealthy and useless competition. Because a member bought a vehicle, you even want to fulliza her and to take a loan to buy a vehicle, forgetting that whoever bought a, a vehicle was blessed in her own way and she had the reason why she needed a vehicle. You don't just wake up one day and say, I want to buy a vehicle. A vehicle is a liability. So if you have no work to do with it, then uh, it may be as well as, as good as money lost. Because remember, when you buy a vehicle, put the, putting the ignition key, it attaches your pocket because of the fuel. But for you, you bought 
because another member of the Catholic faith in your association bought a vehicle. You are in the Catholic Women Association as a competitor. Very unhealthy competition. Sometimes even making women to do so many unethical things. Because of the competition, you have debt right, left, and center. Madeni umejaza kanisani. Imefika pahali ya bapo, hata ukona madeni ya mapadri. Hata aibu hauna. Aibu hauna. Kabisa hauna aibu. Unakopa kila mtu. For purposes of competition. Very sad. Gracious ladies. You, competition cannot make you a healthy Christian. Let alone a Catholic. No, it can't. Number two. A woman who has known her purpose does not hate. So now we have what we are calling chain hatred. Chain hatred is a, a new concept in our association, Catholic Women Association. It's like a chain. Mm -hmm. Did you see that? That chain. Mm -hmm. <laughs> very sad. Very, very sad. And why do you hate them? Nothing. Maybe because they are doing better than you are doing. Number three, she does not spite. She does not spite. On this, I want to request that you read Psalms 15. I'm able to get it here because I need to read it for you. Psalm 15. Those of us who have a Bible in, in, in the phone, the book of Psalms. Psalm 15. I want to read for you Psalm 15. And I'm reading the... Which is this version? Okay. I'm reading from the New International Version. Lord, who may dwell in your sacred tent? Who may live in your holy mountain? The one whose walk is blameless, who does what is righteous, who speaks the truth from the heart, whose tongue utters no slander, who does no, who does no wrong to neighbor, and casts no slur on others, who despises a vile person, but honors those who fear the Lord, who keeps an oath even when it hurts, and does not change their mind, who lends money to the poor without interest, who does not accept a bribe against the innocent. Whoever does these things will never be shaken. Psalm 15. I love that. If you can read Psalm 15 alone and slowly by slowly, you understand why, why we say that uh, a woman who has known herself and her journey cannot spite. She does not belittle to others. We have heard in some parishes where women are fighting because they are in groups. They are, we have got the haves and the have nots. There are those who have their own homes and there are those who are renting. There are those who drive to church and there are those who walk to church. There are those who are married and there are those who have no husbands. And that be, th th all those becomes battlegrounds, areas where we will fight. Where do we, so such that if you come to church driving, you think that the other women are allergic to driving. They are not allergic. Their day is coming because they are God, as it were. Their God is still healthy and alive. The day of their blessing, will you come. Yours has come. Why would you not thank God and intercede for the others to drive like you? But then, because now you are 
okay financially you even uko na madharau kwa wale wanawake wengine you belittle them thinking as if they are not good of human persons that is not right not right she does not fight useless battles aha uh -huh. a woman who has known her purpose never fights useless battles no she does not wait for people's validation to be happy mm -hmm. let me tell you something good people if your happiness will come from people's validation hey you are in trouble big trouble because there are people in this world whose preoccupation is to misunderstand you whose preoccupation is to malign other people's names whose preoccupation is to misrepresent your thoughts and words <laughs> there's nothing you can do about that so if you want them to to validate you and to give you accolades even when you have done something good they won't this woman refuses to be enslaved by anger bitterness and unforgiveness she refuses she is tolerant at least she knows five things she knows five things what are those five things i'll tell you tomorrow <laughs> In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. Do have a productive Thursday.